Hi everyone, I am Anmat Krishna, you are watching Anmat Krishna Food Tech channel. Today we are going to learn about the food safety has some definitions. This video I am doing especially for the technologist who has started their career as a trainee in food industry. Now let us start the video. Now the first one, the HACCP. HACCP you all know, which stands for Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. The definition of the HACCP, it's nothing but HACCP is a management tool. It's a management tool used to protect the food supply against biological, chemical and physical factors. The main purpose of the HACCP system is to produce safe food to the end user or consumer. Now the second one is hazard. What is hazard? Very simple. Hazard. A biological or chemical or physical agent which is reasonably likely to cause illness or injury is called hazard. For example, biological hazards means most of the pathogens come under biological hazards and chemical hazards also, uh, pesticide residues, drug residues and uh, allergic materials also come under the potential chemical hazards and whereas physical hazards also, metal fragments, glass fragments in the food also, uh, the hazards. The next one is the hazard analysis. What is hazard analysis? Hazard analysis, this is like this is the process of collecting and evaluating the information on hazards and conditions leading to the presence to decide which are significant for food safety. Therefore, we must address in our HACCP system or in our food safety plan. So we have to collect the data on hazards based on scientific publications or based on the technical advertising also. We should have in-depth knowledge before conducting the hazard analysis because of we have to determine, we have to identify whether the hazards are potential or not. The hazards at each and every process step, raw metal receiving to the shipment or end product packaging, we have to assess whether any biological hazards or chemical hazards, physical hazards are introduced at this step which are potential to cause illness or injury to the consumers. We have to analyze. So because of that, we have to collect the data. We have to collect the data, scientific data or technical data, technical advisors. The evidences also we have to keep before conducting the hazard analysis. The next one, see, based on that, if the hazard is potential, then we have to determine the potential hazard is significant or not. If it is a significant, then we have to establish critical control points. The next step is. <coughs> what is critical control point? It is very simple. A process step or a point or a trimetal receiving stage or a metal detection stage or a packing stage any of the process step at which control can be applied. A process step control can be applied and a food safety hazard like biological, chemical or physical can be prevented or reduced or eliminated to an acceptable level. Yes. A process step at which control can be applied and a food safety hazards like biological, chemical, physical can be prevented, eliminated, reduced to an acceptable level. Examples. Hazards can be prevented. The best example is at a raw metal receiving stage. At raw metal receiving stage, if you collect the supply declaration, such a way you are preventing the introduction of prohibited drugs, supply declaration from the farmers. So like that, that's a good example. And the next one is hazards 
elimination the good example for elimination of azot is killing of parasites the mechanism the process of freezing 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 is the step which eliminates the significant azot like parasites yes this is a good example of elimination and what about minimizing or reducing the hazards to an acceptable level minimizing or reducing for example at metal detection step we can take this metal detection step no detectable metals in the food is the critical element for example the metals if the detectable if the metal is detected above means 3 mm ferrous then which may cause to the injury when we eat the food so the 3 mm and above the metal pieces which is harmful to us which may cause injury above 3 mm will be detained at the metal detection step so metal detection step will minimize the severity of the hazard that is the good example and another example is for example if if whenever if you are harvesting or seek seek out based on the advisories certain zones or some uh, tidal blooms red tides are sometimes so algal blooms algal are uh, some kind of toxins so if you follow the guidelines or advisories not harvesting that contaminated zone in such a way you are minimizing the hazards to an acceptable level that is also the based on the receiving uh, dark details we have to observe those things now the next one is critical limit what is critical limit critical limit is nothing but a maximum or minimum value a maximum or minimum value at which a ccp the biological chemical physical factors must be prevented or eliminated or reduced to an acceptable level is called critical limits for example cooking if we can take cooking is a critical limit is 72 degrees centigrade holding time of 60 seconds this is a critical limit if exceeds then the survival of pathogens like salmonella or listeria so the critical limit is 72 degrees centigrade the material should be at a core temperature of 72 degrees centigrade holding time of 60 seconds will control the pathogens 99.9999% as per the usfda lethal study d value the validation study states that so based on that we have to establish the critical limit like that the metal detection also the critical limit is 3 mm ferrous if no detectable metal fragments we have to establish the set limit is 3 mm if above then it will detect the product such a way the maximum or minimum value at which the ccp the hazards biological chemical or physical can be prevented or minimized or eliminated to an acceptable level so this is a good example and what is operate operating limit yes operating limit is nothing but operating limit is the criteria which is more stringent than critical limit yes operating limit established by an operator to prevent the occurrence of the deviations operation limit is which is more stringent yes because it has been established by the operator for example here is cook temperature cook for temperature is 72 degrees centigrade plus 70 degrees centigrade so the operator will establish the core temperature for the product is like 73 or 74 degrees centigrade core temperature this is the operation limit if the product core temperature comes down to 74 or 73 it will take the immediate steps either minimize the belt speed or increase the steam or something what are the steps he will take immediately such a way he can he can avoid the deviations to avoid the recurrence of the deviations 
So this is about the operating numbers. That's all about the part one video. The definitions food safety hazard. In my part two video, the rest of the definitions we will discuss. Thank you for watching. And this video, especially I'm doing for the technologies, tiny technologies, uh, junior technologies who have started their career in food industry, means seafood industry or dairy industry or beverages industry or bottling industry or food manufacturing, any industries. Thank you. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon for regular updates.